How long ago was it that the Red Sox had taken their first six games of the season against the Yankees? Well, William Howard Taft was the president. Remember him? Neither does anyone else under 97 years old. And that includes Tim Wakefield. Chen Ming Wong, the Yankees hoping to get back to those 19 win seasons that he was producing in back to back years. His eighth game of the year, fifth start, he's 0 3. There's a little sink trying to induce a double play instead it gets through into left field. A base hit coming plateward is Drew. The throw not in time and the Red Sox lead it one to nothing. Not hit hard but well placed and the Red Sox grab the game's first run. Wong finally throws a decent singer to, sinker to Bay on a one two pitch. Bay just sort of just ground ball in the hole. Nice placement. You see this ball sinking down low. It's a ball. A Rod doesn't even attempt it. This ball just happens to be in the perfect spot. You're hoping that Damon's not going to throw him out with his arm. You're not expecting him to have anything on it. Fairly close play at the plate. Kotze chops it right side. Cano plays the high hop and throws him out. That pitch was not even close. He makes up his mind he's going to swing out of his hand. Drive to right is deep. Back goes J.D. Drew towards the bullpen and gone. Into that Boston pen, Jorge Posada has his ninth home run of the year and with one swing ties the game. He too has faced Wakefield a number of times. That was his 64th plate appearance against Wakefield, his fourth home run off Wake. Looked funny the pitch before, and he gets a ball out over the plate right here, puts a nice swing on this ball. I don't know if it's going to get out of here or not because he didn't hit it high enough, but it makes it, clears the bullpen wall. Tries the bunt bid down the first baseline. Wakefield will flip to first, not in time. Swisher able to beat it out. Looked like he beat the throw. Excuse me, looked like he didn't beat the throw, but maybe he was not on the bag. We'll find out. James Hoy, the first base umpire, is going to receive a visit from Terry Francona. Well, Quake looked like he was in trouble. He threw him a changeup. I guess it, he's not touching the bag. If he's touching the bag, he is out. That's a bad call right there because it looks like Euclid has got the bag. Ball beats the runner, clearly beats the runner, unless his foot is not on the bag. And if it, to me, it looks like he stuffed his toenails under the bag. <laughs> Does this look like this? Yep. He's touching the bag. Clearly, he's out. Surprised Wake didn't argue. Excuse me, Euclid didn't argue more on that. He's the only one that knows. Ruled a hit now four for New York. Good inning. Runner goes and Katara swings away. Sends it out towards deep right center field. It is in for a hit to the track and the wall. Green, who is off with the pitch, will score the go-ahead run. Kataris knocks it in. Red Sox lead it two to one. That's exactly what should happen when somebody has to throw a strike. Can't throw that nasty sinker anymore. 3-2 pitch to Kataris. Center cut. He knows what to do with it. Hits his ball. Right center field gap. It's got double written all over it. Perfectly placed. I thought it was going to one hop into the bullpen, but hit the grass and sort of died. With a double RBI for Kataris. AJ Burnett last night and now Chin Ming Wong tonight. Saw Dave Island back on the phone. Pedroia to right. Swisher headed over to not make the running catch. He was there but couldn't catch it. It's into the seats. It's a ground rule double. Kataris will get the plate. And the Red Sox will get a 3-1 lead. Oh, Swisher, he's having a tough night early on. Bad base running last time on the bags. And he gets a fly ball here that's slicing away from him. And when you get to this play, he's, his head's probably bobbing a little bit. He just whiffs this ball. This ball has got to be caught. He kind of nonchalant puts his glove up. I got it. And he doesn't have it. And this ball one hops into the seats. Well, tough breaks for Wang. Uh, Wang this is Wang this inning. Shot down the first baseline. Drew will apply. Will have the tag applied to him. Is on to third base. Goes Pedroia. Finally, Wong gets Euclid to strike out. First K for Wong, two down in the inning. And Bay strikes out. Wong kind of finding his bearings there at the end of the inning. Doesn't strike out a lot of guys. Two sliders, one to Euclid, one to Bay. Get out of the inning. 
Lowell drives one to deep left field. Damon's back, and it is gone. First row of the monster seats in left. Lowell's gone deep for the tenth time, and the Red Sox lead it four to one. You got to be careful getting first pitch strike with Lowell up there. He's ready to jump on a fastball at any given time. You see this sinker right here. Belt high up out over. He knows what to do with it. Barely gets it to the first row. Down the right field line over his swisher towards the pole and that ball is a foul ball. Swisher ends up in the first row and then some. Meeting some of the Fenway faithful up close. I'll tell you what he'll give you an effort. And he goes a long ways here. He's going to make up for the ball that he's messed up before, and he goes into the stand. Wow. <laughs> he had no chance at that ball. But I got to tell you, you have to applaud this effort. He's going for it. He's a gamer, this guy. Foul tipped and held on to by Posada for the strikeout. It's the third K for Wong, and there's two down in this third inning. Had a couple starts, he pitched pretty well, and then one mediocre one, he found himself in the bullpen. Breaking ball and it strikes out Kataris. Pitch 60 of the night for Tim Wakefield. And it's line into right center field, a base hit. From second comes Matsui. He will score. And the Yankees collect their second run of the night. It's four to two. Victoria went as high as he could at second base, couldn't get it. And it's into right center field. For an RBI single, and it's a 4-2 Red Sox lead. Well, that's like slow motion right there. Line drive over Bedroya's head. He jumps, and he can't get it. That ball looked like he was going to get caught. Could have been a double play ball. You never know. Meanwhile, it's a base hit RBI for Cabrera. Just didn't get up high enough. Euclid. To right field and deep. Swisher headed back at the bullpen. It's gone. Two run home run for Kevin Euclid, his 10th of the year. Red Sox open up the lead at 6 to 2. Look at this opposite field power by Kevin Euclid. Looking for a sacrifice fly with a man on third. Gets a 2 0 pitch from Hughes. Fastball. That's a sacrifice fly, all right. This ball is way back. Look at the look on his eyes. This ball is crushed into the Red Sox bullpen. Bay strikes out. Knew it and takes with him. The second strikeout for Phil Hughes. Swing and a miss and Katze strikes out. Swing and a miss. Nick Green strikes out. And it's back to back K's for Phil Hughes. Two Swing and a miss, third time that Bay has struck out tonight. Drive to deep right for Johnny Damon. Back goes J.D. Drew, and that ball is gone. Into the bullpen. Well, the power continues for Johnny Damon. That's his 13th home run of the season. And it's now 6-4 to four Boston. Kind of shows you right there, Johnny Damon can go deep anywhere. We've seen him... The years he spent in Fenway, that kind of popped he had. He gets a fastball three and two. I don't know if that's a fastball. That looked like that hard screwball that he threw to him earlier in the count. Wasn't his best gas, that's for sure. This thing is far from over. To share it, a deep right towards the corner, drew back, and that ball is gone. The Yankees go back to back, Damon and Teixeira. And on his fourth hit of the night, Teixeira brings his Yankees within a run. A little shocker here, back-to-back -back bombs from Johnny Damon and Mark Teixeira. You see his 19th home run. This is a fastball. Leaves it out over the middle of play. Talk about it. Look at the stroke on Teixeira right there. High fly ball down the right field line. Has enough to get out of here. Hideki Okajima comes in for the Red Sox to make an appearance in his 27th game of the year. 3-2. Struck him out. Lowell to right center field. 
on the run is Swisher. He'll dive and make the catch in right. Nick Swisher laying it out in right center to make the grab. You got to be kidding me. When he went after this ball, I thought he had no chance to catch this ball. You see him going a long way. He just dives, throws his glove out there, and the ball goes into his glove. What a great catch. Out of nowhere, he went for this ball. This ball, luckily, is slicing a little bit back to him. Full extension dive. You can't make a better play. Swisher. One, two to Jeter. Got him. Big strikeout for Okajima. It's the second out here in the eighth. Damon strikes out Okajima with back to back strikeouts. I'm Jonathan Papelbon looking to close this out. The potential tying run and scoring position for Jorge Posada. And Papelbon able to get him to lift it to left field. Not deep enough. Papelbon earns the save. Wakefield the victory. Improves to 8 and 3. 5 and 0 at Fenway Park. Jin Ming Wong falls to 0 and 4. His ERA in the 14s. So the Sox now 7 and 0 against the Yankees in 2009. They've also won 8 in a row against the Yankees if you go back to last year.